Hello fellow developers, welcome to another video on eTechWattle. In this video, we are going to try something different with Firebase. We are going to sign in a user in a Flutter application using Firebase Microsoft Auth method. And as far as I think, there might be very few people who may have done this before, especially in the beginners. So this video is going to be very helpful for you and all you have to do is to stay tuned till the end and let's get started. So first thing first, you need to create your account in the Azure Microsoft.com. And to come to this page, all you have to do is to search Azure portal and then click the first one. Then this will navigate you first in here, the same page that I show you in here. So the Azure portal is basically a web-based console provided by the Microsoft that allows us to manage all the Azure resources in one place. Once you sign in by putting your credentials, your card details and go with free trial, you will see this page on your screen. And remember one thing, you have to put your card details and go with free trial in order to get the Azure cloud resources to work. So this is a very crucial step that you have to carry out. So once you're signed in, next you need to register your application with the Azure Active Directory to obtain the credential for the Microsoft sign in. So here you have to search for the app registrations and click the first one, app registration. This will take you in here where you have to go for new registration because you won't have any new application registered when you first come in here. So you have to go with new registration. Here you have to put the name and then you have to select the accounts in any organizational directory, any Microsoft intra, ID tenant, multi tenant and personal Microsoft accounts, for example, Skype or Xbox. So that would be the supported account types for your application. And then here you need to select the platform and then we are going to do it for the web because in Flare application, we will use the provider sign in method from the Firebase auth method and this will eventually take us to the web. So here in the Azure cloud, we will register an application with the web and then from the Firebase, we will use a link that will be provided by the Firebase authentication method for the Microsoft when we go to the Firebase console and try to enable the Microsoft Auth method for the Firebase. So you will get to know about this once we get here. So you have to select this and then put your application name and register. So once you have done this, your application will be registered. And then I will try to go back because I already have created one. So I will discard all the changes and then I agree with the go back. In my all applications, I have already one application that is working app where I have the client ID in here. So I will go in here inside this app and I will get the details like this. I have my application ID, the client ID and the object ID and the directory tenant ID. And then we have one credential, one secret already created and the redirect URIs, application ID URI, you will get all this information when you click each of this link. So once your application is registered, the next important step that we have to do is to go to the certificates and secrets and create one secret for our Firebase application that will be used in the method of the Firebase. So I already have one working secret created, but we will still create one new secret to show you how this works. So I will do working secret two and then add the secret. So this will take a while and your secret will be created and this will appear directly in here. So you have to directly copy it from here. Otherwise it will become like this once you refresh the page. So I will copy this client secret and then we need a Firebase project to use that client secret in here and also in the overview, the our application client ID. So these two fields are required in there. So once you're signed in, in the Azure portal, and then you have registered your application, you got everything you need. Now, the next step you have to do is to go and create a Firebase project and then set it up with your Flare application. And I already have this task done. So if you don't know how to set up Firebase with a Flare application, you can watch this video where I taught how you can set up a Firebase project 
in your Flare application using Flareify CLI. And it also, if you don't know how to get started with Flutter, you can watch this 7 weeks of Flutter and Firebase developer bootcamp where initially I taught setting up Flutter SDK. So anyways, once you have Firebase project and it's set up with a Flutter application, then you have to go to the build and then click this authentication. You will get the authentication, then you will see a pop-up, then simply click on the get started and you will get here. You might have you might not have the users in here then you have to enable a sign in method to use that sign in provider from the firebase so in this video we will this time go for the microsoft and we will enable this and here the application id will be application id that we have here paste it right here and then the client secret will be that secret that we have here I'll copy this and paste it in here and then we have to add the redirect URL in the application that we have created so once we have this set up we will save this I have copied this URL this sign in provider is enabled now now I can go to the authentication and here I already have one redirect URI added because previously I already have done this in my test application and that was WhatsApp. So I will add the URI and paste in here that is for Firebase demo this time and I will go for add this URI. That's it. Now delete this one and save this place also. This will update the application authentication. So now once you have this thing set up, now this time is to go to the Flutter application and start writing code and see the result of it. So I already have this application nab new Flutter app where I have already set up the Firebase using Flutter Fire CLI and I have two pages of login page which is doing nothing for now and the home page here for displaying the UID and the display name and the email once the user is authenticated. So now we'll go to the login page and when the on press is called we will try to sign in a user with the provider of the microsoft.com so first we need the oauth provider and the provider will be the microsoft.com as simple as that one variable and the oauth provider is provided by the firebase auth and then we simply specified our microsoft auth provider then once you have this variable you have your provider next step you have to do is to set up the provider custom parameters and then in the parameters you have to set your tenant as your tenant id a tenant id is basically a unique identifier in the cloud-based microsoft services it is important for identity and access management and it pinpoints a specific organization or company within the microsoft cloud environment this makes sure only authorized users from the particular tenant or organization can access the resources they are permitted to. Also, it's recommended to keep the tenant ID secret to maintain a strong security for your Azure resources. And from where you can take this tenant ID, simply move to your Azure portal and then simply click this here and navigate to the Microsoft Intra ID. Once you have here, then here you will find the tenant ID here it is the tenant ID you can copy that and simply go for pasting it in here and some people sometimes misunderstand with the tenant ID as I did when I was trying to do this I put the application ID here it is go back the application ID the this ID in place of tenant and I was getting unexpected errors and I also tried this ID because I was unable to find where is the tenant ID place of my Azure cloud environment so if people sometimes misunderstand this so your tenant ID is actually located in the Microsoft Intra ID and you have to use this one and not the others so once you have this you have set the custom parameters as your tenant as simple as that next thing you have to do simply await from the firebase instance sign in with provider passing that provider that we have created and make this asynchronous since we are performing an asynchronous task which is a future of user credential so once this is done our user will be signed in using microsoft provider and then to change the stat and once the user is signed into the application then we have to navigate user to the home page 
we have to come to the main page here we will wrap this login page with a stream builder to listen to the changes of the authentication stats changes and then based on that we will navigate user to the different pages that we want to for example home if is signed in and if it's not then the login page so we will do here the user since the method will be returning a firebase user that we are calling and we will do firebase auth dot instance dot auth state changes to listen to the auth state changes and methods can't be invoked in a constant expressions yes we have to remove the constant and then instead of the login page directly returning we will check if the snapshot dot has data equal equal to false or we can say true and then we will simply access the final user equal to snapshot dot data which is the user and then simply we will return here the home page and simply go to the home page now and this will accept a parameter of user that will be the firebase user make it nullable and we will do it user passing it in the constructor and simply accessing the information here with string interpolation user dot uid it can be the yes the uid and then for the name the display name we are going to do user dot display name and for the email we will do the user dot email and that's it then we have to put the assertion operator which means that they won't be null if the user is already signed in and once we are done with this in the else condition here we will return the login page and this is going to accept it won't be constant though it will be user as the user and the login page will be constant since it has nothing to pass so once we have this and we have set up the logic for that as simple as that these three line of codes now we can how to start the application and then try with the firebase microsoft auth method so once the application how to starts we will open up the console and then we will click the sign in with microsoft method it is doing something unable to match the web behavior ignoring firebase because its value was null and i think that will be because of i don't have the internet connection so i'm gonna just start this emulator and try again so once i have the internet connection i will sign in with microsoft again this time and this will take me to a web browser and where i have to put my credential to sign in with microsoft so I already had put my credential and this directly navigate me in here by giving me the my UID, my display name and my account. And if you are signing in for the first time, this will ask you for the email in the Microsoft tab and your password. And then you have to allow some permissions. And once you have done with this, this will send you back in here. Now the user is signed in. So you can see I'm no more on the home page. I'm no more on the login page and I'm on the home page and I have received the UID, display name and the email. And this condition, the first condition is true. Now the snapshot has that. And now if you visit our Firebase project here, we can go to the users. We got the ID in here and you can always sign in with some other email and this will appear in here with the providers of Microsoft. And one more thing that I wanted to tell you is that in some cases, if the authentication of the Microsoft didn't work, you can always head on over to the learnmicrosoft.com, this site in here, learn.microsoft.com. They have documented all the relevant errors and error codes and provide very good documentation to fix the particular error. I myself, while doing Microsoft Auth in Flare, encountered many errors and I solve all of them with just their very helpful documentation about the errors and the fixes of the error. Here you can see they have a lot of errors and their articles how to fix these specific errors. And I recently fixed this one error. That's why I am on this article learn on the learnmicrosoft.com. And while doing Microsoft Auth in Firebase, if you face some error, for example, 
invalid certificate hashes. So what you have to do is to move to your Firebase project and go to the project settings and then come all the way down and select your Firebase Android project and currently the application of the Android that my app is running on is new Flutter app, the Android one. You have to hover this question mark and will click this link. This will take you in here. By using these commands, you can generate the SHA fingerprint certificates and simply add it in your Firebase project of the Android. Then that error will disappear and your Microsoft Auth on Flutter application will start working. And the same logic here that I wrote for mobile will work on the web also. What you have to do is simply change the sign in with pop-up and that's it. Since it's already coded in here, this method is only available on the web platform. So the sign in pop-up method you can use for the web also. And remember the same code will work for the web also. For example, here from the console, I run the same application in Flutter web by running the Flutter run minus D Chrome web render HTML. And once this is run, you will see the window like this. And once you click this sign in Microsoft, this will take you here and here you can write your email for example i write my email and go for the next and this will now require the password now here i will put my password and go for the sign in and once it's done i will save it i will say don't show this again yes the sign in and previously i also i already did this test sign in that's why I directly signed in and it didn't show me the putting your email and password and then to get these results. So you can see I got the UID the display name and the email the same that I have in the Firebase. So this is also working in the web and also in the mobile. So that's how is the Firebase Microsoft authentication. So that's it for this video and to be updated with all the videos like this. Subscribe to eTechWattle and I will see you in the next video. Until that, happy fluttering.